We've already got a system that's kind of hyperactive and inattentive. Why do we give them stimulants? Okay, lovely. That's kind of the fundamental question. I don't, it does not compute, so okay. please explain. Okay. You give someone some stimulant, all right, it improves their frontal lobe function and they get better at inhibiting all those impulses. Right. Okay, so they can attend. So you're right, it's kind of paradoxical. If someone's yeah. all over the place, okay, why are you giving them this, this juice that should just turn everything up? It actually turns up the thing that helps you inhibit yourself. The, the, the effect that we're going for is this sort of improved frontal lobe function. Yes. Okay. So what that will do, all right, is it will create, as we said, it will decrease your distractibility. Yes. And that's what gives you improved attention. Okay. Okay. That's actually the sort of the whole point of taking. It, yeah. Okay. From a you know, medical point of view. Yeah. All right. Now there's a downside to that as well potentially. It decreases your spontaneity. Okay. All right. That's why uh, it decreases hyperactivity. Yeah. Okay. So hyperactivity is basically manifested spontaneity. Yeah. All right. So it decreases your spontaneity. So you might think, okay, well that's not too bad. The downside of that as well though is it can reduce your creativity. Yeah. Like right. if you've got people who are kind of artistic, musical, mm -hmm. and use their kind of... Yeah, it, it, it can really stifle Essential. their creativity. Yeah. Okay? okay. And also just, just things like playfulness. You're less playful. Yeah. You know, because that's a sort of... There's a lot of spontaneity in yeah. play. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. That's, that's kind of, you know, that's some of the downsides there of, um, of increasing your um, frontal lobe function to dampen down your kind of impulsivity if yeah. you like all right but it comes yes you get more attention but it can have yeah. other costs now if you but if you overdo it okay people end up just feeling quite zombified okay yeah, they're, right. they're, 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 they're so kind of stifled all right that they're just not having any fun at all yeah okay yeah. so 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 this is where getting the dose right yeah. i'll get more a bit more into that all right so that's the main function okay it's all about that but i've got these other boxes here so what's that about mm. all right so the other thing stimulant will do obviously is increase your arousal so people can feel quite wired yeah all right? okay so they're like More, a physical agitation sort of potentially thing? yes that's that's sort of one of the downsides is people get a lot of restlessness yeah right okay okay, okay. okay. not always but they can okay okay so increased energy that sounds good unless it's restlessness yeah okay increase alertness that sounds good all right, but if you take it too late in the day, it's going to keep you awake for mm. sure. Right. Okay, so if you're kind of um, under the effect of stimulant still, good luck trying to get to sleep. Mm. All right. Now, if mm. you overdo the arousal, okay, you end up with a lot of anxiety, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. and potentially panic. And potentially anger as well, right? Yeah, okay. is it a fight flight? It's the fight Yeah, fight, so you're response. turning yep. up your juice on your arousal, yep. anxiety and anger. And interestingly, Improving your frontal lobe function can actually decrease your anxiety and your anger. You're more able to think through things, mm. okay? So it's kind of got you coming and going a bit here, all right? So some people will just find, I can't take it, it makes me too angry, all right? Yeah, okay. okay. Well, well fair, fair enough, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. some people are like, hey, my anger seems better, all right? Yeah, so it can go either way. Yeah, yeah, it can go okay. either way. It's very individual. All right, so, that's, that's, so we've done the frontal lobe, we've done the arousal. Okay, now this is sort of what potentially can get us into trouble, okay? It, it, these medications will directly acti activate your um, reward pathways. Yeah. All right? So you might think, oh, that's okay. What's wrong with that? Okay, so you get an increase in positive emotion. You feel pretty good when you're taking these things, okay? And you feel good about what you're doing. Hey, my thinking's really good and I'm feeling really productive. Look how productive I am. Yeah. Yep. You may not actually be all that much more productive. <laughs> but you feel productive. But you feel productive. <laughs> okay, so it increases your positive emotion. And as a result of that, by the way, it tends to kill your appetite. All right, because you're sort of satiated. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah so you don't even really right. think about eating. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Okay, so we've got more positive emotion. Well, yeah, what's wrong with that? It's fantastic. All right? <laughs> well, you know, okay, so this is where, if this gets off the kind of rails, all right, this is where addiction can become a Yeah. Problem, all right? Because let's say you don't have any positive emotion in your life. Let's, your life's a train wreck. Okay? Yeah. There's, there's, there's every reason to numb the pain, okay, and every reason to seek things to make you feel better. Bing, bing, bing. This will do it, okay? So this is that's where people can sometimes get into trouble with addiction stuff. Yeah, right. and the addiction to the stimulant then to keep yeah getting that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like oh, I have no other source of positive emotion. I feel dreadful when I'm off it. Better have some more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this is why people abuse meth and all that sort of thing. Okay, body effects. Now it activates your sympathetic nervous system. Yeah. It decreases your parasympathetic nervous system. 
increased blood pressure, increased heart rate. If you've already got blood pressure problems, yeah. not good. So risks increase of things like stroke. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Not okay. great. Yeah. yeah, not yeah. great. Not great. Yeah. So you kind of want to be, um, you want to have, you want to make sure you're in sort of condition that you can handle it. Because you get significant, some people only get a small bump, like 10, yeah. Yeah, 10 points or added yeah. their systolic blood pressure, but some get more. Obviously, performance enhancement. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. that's why it's been in sports, right? Okay. Yeah, of course. Okay. Because it definitely improves your performance. So okay. that, that all sounds like good news. So you think, well, problem solved. No <laughs> worries. Okay, we just take our stimulants and away we go. All right? Yeah, no. But there's a problem. There's a problem. Can you take yeah. yeah, please. Okay. So let's say we start off. Uh, I've done these question marks here as like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm inattentive. Like, what? what's going yeah. on? All right? Yeah. So I have myself um, my stimulant, okay, and up goes my attention. Wow, I'm really attentive now. Here we yeah. Here. Okay. So hopefully I'm taking this during the day, all right, and I'm nice yeah. and nice and activated. All right. I'm not going to get into the slow release stuff just now. I'm just going to keep it simple. All right. right. Okay. Now when that wears off, though, all right, you it kind of you come back to where you were before, plus maybe plus yeah, maybe fractionally fractionally lower than where you were <laughs> started. This looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, from a benzo talk, right? Yeah. So, but anyway, it's only a fraction, so who cares? Okay. Um, this is sort of like a tiny withdrawal effect. Yep. Okay. So, it's, it's, why don't we why don't we just segue over to what happens with withdrawal effects of this medication and we'll come back to you. Okay. Okay, so so when you're withdrawing off stimulant, you get basically the opposite, the opposite of, of all that. This. Yeah. So it decreases your attention, yep. it increases your tiredness, yep. it reduces any feelings of positive emotion, yep. and it reduces your performance. Does it feel good? No. Okay. So let's come back to you. So we've had our dose, our performance and our attention and so forth has improved. Now it's night time. Yeah. No problem. Doesn't matter if our performance and our arousal are down. Some people feel like they have a crash. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Helps you sleep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now some people don't get a crash, and it, and it, you know it, it sort of persists a bit longer, and it'll keep them awake. Yeah. All right? So there's a lot of variability in how long it lasts in different people. All right. But just in general terms, okay, that's fine. No worries. Okay. And we we'll take it again the next day. All right. It works almost as well as it did the first yeah, day. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. So we're happy. You know, the, the, at daytime we're all functional and great. Wears off. Okay. A little bit lower. And again, yeah. So if this was our sort of starting point. No, a little bit lower still. It doesn't matter, it's night time, I'll get a good sleep, yeah. new beauty. Okay, next day, okay, oh, it's not quite as good. Now I'm exaggerating Yeah, the you are, yeah. I mean, it's, next, it's illustrating. Yeah, this isn't going to happen over it. three doses. No. Okay, but, no. but this is the sort of thing that happens. But no worries, okay, it's during the day, fantastic. Okay, um, there's my, there's yeah. my come down, but it's night time, who cares? Right. Okay, dog, okay. dog, it's not working for me as well yeah, as it used to. Yeah, here you go, it's not working. No worries, we know what to do. Okay. Double your dose. Double your dose. Okay, so we double your dose and it's working back up to where it was. Back up to yeah. where it was, was before. Yeah. No worries. Okay. And then um, we get this again and we get yeah, this again. Yeah, the crash is going to be worse. Until surely at some okay. point we kind of tap out in the maximum dose and they go, oh, well, kind of this not is helping it, yeah, this is, yeah, look, yeah, to, just to sort of fast forward to the conclusion, you're exactly right. Okay, so what happens is. You see your doc a couple of months later, oh, I reckon I need a bit more, all right? Or, oh, I've started taking an extra one. Is that okay? Yeah. All right? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah. The dose creeps up, okay? Yeah. This is kind of dose creep. It's because we become more tolerant to the medication. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So you get the same effect you need more of yeah. it, okay? Now, why, why does that matter, okay? Why does that matter? Because you end up having a bigger dose means all well, this yeah, stuff. Yeah. Okay. So you come off it, you get big withdrawal effects. Yeah. Okay. So low, po like I'm not getting much positive emotion. I feel miserable until I get my dose. Yeah. Because yeah. your crashes are going to be. Your crashes are worse. Wake up in yeah. the morning, can't function until I've had my tablet my, and had time for the tablet to yeah. kick in. Now work. this is once the dose has crept up. Yeah. So yeah. this doesn't usually happen off the bat. Okay. This is sort of six months in, twelve months yeah, in, okay. something okay. like that. Okay. okay. All right. So so not not fantastic. Okay. We're stuck with these withdrawal effects and we're not and the other thing is it's not working as well it's not can we add something else to it can we add something else to it so how do we avoid this because it's it's look not everyone it doesn't seem to happen to everyone but it certainly seems to happen to us well, it's the same thing with benzos it's kind of the benzo doesn't it doesn't happen to everyone yeah. but some people are fine on stable doses yeah. for years and other people yeah. get exactly this effect 
So what I would so the way I get around this issue, okay. Yeah. Now I'm not saying you should rush out and talk to your doctor and say, oh, I want to do what Dr. Al said. No, no, no. Talk to your doctor about you know what you think is best for you and get his advice. But when I'm initiating or her, or her thank, thank you. you. Okay. But when I'm initiating someone on this medication, what I do is I give them the following advice. I say, take it no more than five days in a week. Okay, no more than five, because that gives you two days to sort of start to reset your kind of brain. Okay, all right. Is it so five days in a row, or like two breaks. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know actually what the optimal is. I generally tell people I want two consecutive days off. Oh, okay. okay, all right. So five on, so kind of Monday to Friday yeah. weekend. I would really off. like three consecutive days off, yeah. but you know, people have a five day working week or study week or whatever, yeah. right? So. Yeah. So I, I generally say, look, you're going you're gonna to cop a bit of withdrawal effect on the days that you're not taking it, mm -hmm. all right? That's the way the cookie crumbles. There's no free lunches here. Yeah. Okay. So what this curve ends up looking like, all right, if you don't do this, if you don't just keep on taking it every yeah. day, is, so you get to, so one, two, three, okay, so here's day four, here's day five. This is greatly exaggerated. Okay? Yeah. Now, yeah, you have... You come back up to your sort of baseline state. Right. And then so you you start your week the again. day where you're skipping. So. Yeah, then you start your week again. All right. So it seems, and the other thing I sometimes do with people is I might creep the dose up. So some people say, oh, on the first day it feels really strong. But by the last day, it's not strong enough. Okay, well, why don't we take a little bit less on the first day and a little bit more on the last day? Have yourself your couple of days off. Okay. So you reset your tolerance. Okay. Okay. Now, again, it's got to be individually tailored. Yeah, you guys okay. need to be talking to your health professionals around this. Like, we're not giving individualized advice or dosing kind of ideas around. Well, we're talking about kind of ideas in it's theory good here, yeah. but we're not giving you individualized advice. So you need to be talking to your primary health care provider and whoever's prescribing this, talk to them. Yeah. So to avoid dose creep, what I suggest to my patients, all right, two consecutive days off a week. You know, I like you loving my handwriting here. Right? Yeah, I hope you can read that. I'm glad he was narrating as okay, he was writing. Okay. Two consecutive days off a week. And the other thing I like them to do is I like them to have one full week off, right, every two to three months. Okay. Okay. That, so people would have to really kind of plan for this. Like yeah. if they were dependent on it to be able to function at work, it yeah. may mean that they're going to take a week off work or kind of that's their holiday break or whatever where yeah. they can just kind of chill for it. Yeah. Now, but, but when people are on holidays, they kind of, it's like, oh, well, I really want to get this done and get that done. So it's not, yeah, yeah it's okay. not really, yeah. it's not welcome yeah. news, right? Okay. And same as the weekend, oh, I want to do this on the weekend and I do it so much better when I'm taking yeah. my stuff, okay? So look, I mean, you know, if you've got some awesome thing on the weekend and you really need to get it done, okay, okay, take, okay. you know, you know, skip your skip doses, okay, yeah, you know, but, take, be but, 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 you, but you, you, you're potentially asking for tolerance to creep in and thereby dose creep to go up. Yeah. All right. Now, like I said, not everyone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Plenty of people are on a stable dose for you know years. Okay. okay? But plenty of people don't, and they're now on these you know stompingly high doses. So there you have it, folks. The uh, the secret to stimulants is uh, it doesn't just boost uh, attention. It uh, has all kinds of effects on spontaneity, on the reward system, on body systems, on appetite, you name it. So you've got to factor all this into account. And most importantly, the concept of tolerance and dose creep is real. You don't want your dose creeping up. Otherwise, problems are really going to start creeping up on you. So talk to your uh, prescriber about what might be the optimal dosing pattern for you. Good luck.